Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to the Fauna Rose YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Megan and I'm the owner of Fauna Rose and I make and sell accessories, scrunchies, macrame, home decor items and a whole bunch of other goodies like that. And in today's video, I'm going to be setting myself a little bit of a challenge, but at the same time, it's okay if I don't hit that challenge. <laughs> Long story short, I was in hospital yesterday with really bad chest pains and I had to have a bunch of tests and stuff, so I'm taking it easy, but at the same time, I can't just sit on the couch and not do anything. <laughs> and I've wanted to do this and film this video because because I've got two huge boxes of fabric sat next to me and I've had this fabric for the longest time. I have tried selling it in the past but I also can't justify just getting rid of it because I don't like creating waste when it comes to fauna rose but a lot of the fabric is lycra stretchy spandex style fabric from when I used to make cheerleading bows a very long time ago so it isn't the right vibe for fauna rose however I thought it would be really cool to potentially have mystery bags on the website so it'll be a little paper bag and inside will be a mystery scrunchie and it'll It'll just be a way to get rid of this fabric because it's taken up a lot of room in my kitchen downstairs these two huge boxes not create any waste but then also give you guys some really cute scrunchies and I can take them to events and markets and stuff and it's quite exciting because you don't know what you're gonna get I'm not sure how well I'm gonna be able to sew these into scrunchies but it's all sort of like really bright cool what I would say is like dance style fabric some of it I'm not gonna be able to use for scrunchies because it isn't the right sort of fabric at all but someone did leave a comment on one of my videos saying I needed a a ballpoint needle for stretchy fabric so I did go and get some last week and I thought I would set myself the little challenge of seeing how many scrunchies I can sew up in the rest of today and tomorrow I have been at work this morning not for like a normal shift we just had an open day but this way I'm taking it easy I'm sat down I'm chilling but I'm also doing something so I don't go insane I would love to hit the target of potentially getting a hundred scrunchies done I don't know if that's possible because I do have other things I need to do so I'll see what I can get done before I do that I need to open this massive parcel this is stuff for the office and the office makeover so I'm going to quickly film a clip for that if you want to see what's in this that'll be in the part two of the office makeover I'm going to choose some fabrics there's quite a lot of that one so I'll do that one I'm obsessed with this one this is one of like my favorite fabrics I've ever picked up so much oh hello sir that was a lot harder work than i thought it was gonna be because it's a tougher thicker fabric i feel very weak which is great thank you i almost gave up multiple times then but i kept going Oh, 50. That is so satisfying. If you are new here, I make mini scrunchies and XL scrunchies. So my minis are like a standard scrunchie size. And then my XLs are absolutely monstrous. These are going to be made in the mini size. Some of these strips are actually a tiny bit narrower than what I usually cut. But I thought if I could just make a couple more out of it, that's fine. I have decided I'm not going to put my labels in these scrunchies. So if you can see there, I have my Fauna Rose branding on each of my scrunchies. I don't have many left and I won't have time to order some and get them here on time to finish this little challenge. And because these are just mystery scrunchies, they're gonna be really cheap. They're gonna be half the price of my normal scrunchies without sounding unprofessional. I don't wanna increase the price. Fair enough, none of this has cost me much money currently because I haven't bought this recently. 
recently but i spent a lot of money on this fabric a very long time ago painful amounts i don't even want to talk about <laughs> so i'm already obviously using fabric then i've got to use my elastic i'm also using thread so i don't want to then have to use another material like my labels on top of that so this way i can keep them really really affordable they'll still be as good of a quality people can get some cute scrunchies for really cheap and it's just a fun experience just for full disclosure i am a brand ambassador for this company but there is an incredible alternative jewelry brand called mr come luna if anyone wants some money off i'll leave my discount code down below <laughs> they do mystery envelopes like little packages of some of their jewelry pin badges things like that and i love buying them when i put an order in just it's like an extra exciting thing to open because you don't know what you're gonna get so that is the plan for these i am gonna use some of the scrap little pieces just to test out the ballpoint needle just gone six and i'm exhausted everything's covered in little fibers i think i've inhaled so much my camera is my ipad is my phone is but this is where we're at this one is definitely my favorite it's like a really cute white purple and glittery purple 22 made up i still have all day tomorrow but i also don't really want to spend the entire day doing it but i'm happy i've got these done so obviously they just need the finishing seam so i'm going to leave you guys here for today so i'll catch you guys in the morning <laughs> it's sunday it's gone half three and i haven't done anything for this video no sewing nothing i doubt i'm gonna get to 100 scrunchies but i've started this challenge let's see what we can uh, finish worth of sewing i've managed to get these sewn up so they need turning into burritos these are all burritos how many are there one two three four five six seven eight, eight. so it's 12 here
Dun. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty-one scrunchies that were made out of fabric that could have ended up in a landfill. Unfortunately, with these ones, I had sewn them up and not realised that stitches were all like bunching and stuff. So I don't know if I need a new needle or what. Hopefully that's all it is. So I'm going to go through the box and choose the next lot of fabric that I could potentially make some scrunchies from. All the fabric so far has been pinks, purples and blues. So we're going to try and get some out of this fabric. We've got this like metallic... Is that red? It's like red, but it looks brownie bronzy zebra print metallic green a shimmery orange we've got this gorgeous lava like orange silver and yellow one we've got this cool one this is really thick so i don't know how well we're gonna be able to sew that and this black and silver one i have no idea if any of this is gonna be long enough but we'll see let's get cutting We're running into a problem. My sewing machine won't sew. But can you see? That's what it's doing. And that's with a brand new needle. So I don't know what to do. It's chewed up a bunch of the fabric. It's now 10 to 6. So this challenge was quite a fail. It was more of a bit of fun to see like what I could get done. Okay, there are much better stitches. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to stop sewing because it's just gone seven. This was a fail of a challenge, but also not because as you can sort of see here, I made 55 scrunches. I'm kind of cheating because they're not actually finished up. I've not done the finishing seam. <laughs> But it's 55 scrunchies I wouldn't have had if I didn't do this challenge. And let's be honest, I half asked this challenge quite a lot. Only a few hours over the whole weekend, which is fine with me. I've had a lot of other things to do, including chill. But I'm not going to end the video here. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to get up. I'm going to start finishing these up and bagging them up and creating the, like, packaging for them. My plan is to potentially put them in these little brown paper bags I've got. Oh, I'm running low on my paper bags. This is what they look like. So my plan is to put, obviously, a scrunchie in there fold that over on the back i want to have like packaging sticker branding thing that says it's like a no waste mystery scrunchie but i will catch you guys in the morning
know if you can see the blocks down there, but they are all finished, which is a relief. I still have lots of other fabric that I can go through, but I've completely emptied one whole box. I'm pretty sure this is the slightly bigger box as well. And I do still have plenty of other fabric that I can work with if I wanna make some more of these in the future. So we'll see how well they sell. But I just wanna quickly say they're definitely not a huge profitable item. Whether or not I actually make profit on them, I doubt very much so, just because of the cost of everything to make them. So elastic, thread, and then the packaging all does add up, but it's mostly a way to get rid of some of this fabric without it ending up in a landfill and becoming waste. It's a fun experience. And if there is any tiny bit of profit that is in there, it all goes straight back into the business anyway, which is great. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please give it a massive thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below, subscribe if you aren't. All my social media for Fauna Rose is linked down below, so feel free to head on over there and check it out. The website will also be down below, so if you wanna go and head over there, treat yourself and all that lot, help support me, I'd be very grateful. But just watching these videos, giving them a thumbs up and interacting with them really, really does help. But apart from that, have a great day and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!